Hello guys. Today, we've got some major updates straight from NEO's top leadership. The CEO has made some bold statements about the ET5 Turing also known as the ET5T and what he revealed could signal a massive shift for NEO's future. From market-leading sales figures to groundbreaking autonomous driving technology, this episode breaks down why the ET5T might just be NEO's game-changer. Plus, we'll talk about how their new in-house chip is setting the stage for full self-driving features this June. Whether you're an EV enthusiast or a NEO investor, you don't want to miss this. Let's get into it. This is not financial advice. Please do your own research. Just recently, NEO's CEO made some compelling remarks about the ET5 Turing, better known as the ET5T, during a public appearance. He didn't just talk about it as a luxury travel vehicle, but also pointed out its impressive sales performance. According to him, the ET5T has risen to the top, becoming the best-selling variant in the ET5 lineup, a significant achievement for the company. Earlier today, I covered how insurance registration data showed that NEO had logged 6,580 units yesterday alone. Within those figures, the ET5T is rapidly narrowing the sales gap with one of NEO's previously most popular models, the ES6. This suggests a clear shift in consumer preference. And when you look at recent delivery stats, it backs this up. The ET5T saw just over 6K deliveries last month, while the ES6 stood at about 6,500. That's only a few hundred units separating them now. It's clear the ET5T is gaining serious momentum. This kind of performance explains why the CEO is openly praising the ET5T's market position. It now leads its class in sales, which is a major milestone. This tells us a lot about NEO's trajectory and how the company is aligning itself with future trends, especially after the launch of the 2025 version of the ET5T, which was unveiled just this past Sunday, there's growing excitement. Let's not forget, there's been a lot of buzz around this new version, particularly because of the technological advancements it brings. One of the most notable upgrades is the inclusion of NEO's very own in-house developed autonomous driving chip. This chip is a game-changer not just because it reduces reliance on third-party suppliers, but because it enhances performance in ways that external chips might not. This move strengthens NEO's technological independence and gives it a significant edge. Looking ahead, NEO plans to roll out a new software suite called the NEO World Model in June. This will elevate their vehicle's autonomous capabilities to near full self-driving levels. Thanks to the new chip, the ET5T and other supported models will be able to handle this update smoothly. The NEO World model is expected to bring some major improvements. It won't just be your regular navigation on Pilot NOP Plus system. It will enable advanced functions like autonomous maneuvering even in tight parking lots. During early demonstrations, one test user traveled nearly 40 kilometers without actively steering the vehicle, relying almost entirely on the system. That's how advanced it has become its approaching true autonomous driving. And again, it's NEO's own chip that makes this possible. This level of in-house development is rare and highlights how serious the company is about creating a future-proof product line. Once the NEO World model rolls out next month, it's going to change the game. Cars like the ET5T will not only attract tech enthusiasts, but will appeal to anyone interested in next-level convenience. Just think about the potential here. Imagine your car being able to autonomously navigate through a complex parking structure, locate you, and drive to your location on command. That's not science fiction anymore, that's what NEO is gearing up to offer. And honestly, I can't wait. June is almost here, and this is going to be a huge milestone not just for NEO, but for the entire EV industry. These developments show that NEO isn't just reacting to the market, it's leading. The company continues to innovate and refine its offerings, which helps it stand out in a crowded and competitive EV space. Features like battery swapping and premium after-sales support already gave NEO a unique identity. Now, with homegrown chips and advanced autonomous features, it's setting the pace. 
This is why, even with the current pricing environment in China, many believe NEO has what it takes to push through. While competition is intense, the level of quality and service NEO delivers puts it in a favorable position. Battery swapping alone is something very few competitors offer, and it addresses a real concern among EV buyers charging time. This convenience, combined with breakthrough technology, sets NEO apart. Looking at the broader picture, it's clear that those who remain patient and believe in NEO's vision may eventually be rewarded. I've said it before and I'll say it again even if things don't go perfectly and we end up facing losses, there's still a lesson in it. But if NEO succeeds and the odds increasingly suggest it will will be part of a very compelling success story. Just imagine, if NEO's stock ever returns to its previous highs, like that $66.99 mark, it would be a defining moment. Not just for individual investors, but for everyone who stayed the course. We could look back and say we were part of something transformative, something historic in the investing world. And make no mistake, the probability of success is not far-fetched. When you consider everything technological innovation, market strategy, and resilience through tough phases NEO appears well-positioned to thrive. Temporary challenges like share price dips and macroeconomic headwinds are just that temporary. The company has weathered storms before and emerged stronger. There's a reason why many long-term investors are still holding on, and that confidence stems from NEO's consistent delivery on its promises. Speaking of progress, let's touch on financials for a second. We're currently in Q2, and this is an important time for NEO. The CEO himself has emphasized the importance of this quarter. Investors and analysts are looking to see improvements in one key area, net losses. That's been one of the main criticisms of NEO that its losses remain high, reportedly close to $1 billion. But that could start changing soon. Thanks to the implementation of their new centralized business unit CBU structure, cost control is expected to improve. This system is designed to streamline operations and reduce waste, which could help shrink those losses over time. While Q1 might still show significant deficits, expectations for Q2 are far more optimistic. If analysts and investors start seeing NEO make real progress in trimming down its losses, sentiment will shift quickly, and that could have a powerful impact on the stock. The moment NEO shows signs of breaking even or moving toward profitability, it could trigger a surge in investor confidence. So yeah, it's been a rocky road at times, but the long-term outlook is increasingly encouraging. From breakthroughs in autonomy to in-house chips, from leading market segments to rolling out industry-first services NEO is making all the right moves. To wrap things up, what we're witnessing with the ET5T is more than just a spike in sales, it's a symbol of NEO's broader ambitions. This model represents the blend of smart engineering, sleek design, and cutting-edge innovation that NEO wants to be known for. And as we edge closer to June, there's a lot to be excited about. New features, improved tech, and maybe even a turning point in their financial story. Let me know your thoughts, are you as bullish on NEO as I am? Are you holding, waiting, or considering getting in? The next chapter is about to unfold, and I truly believe it could be a memorable one. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.